Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crazy Wink. Today, I'm releasing my the version 2.0 of my injector. Uh, I haven't updated my injector for such a long time. Uh, I think it was like August that I last updated it. And uh, really, what this update is, I completely converted and uh, redid the whole injector because I um, my injector was written in a different language, and I've completely uh, redone it in C sharp. Uh, so. Yeah, I'll probably be doing a tutorial on how to make an injector for C Sharp as well because I know people uh, want to do that and not many people know how. Um, so yeah, this is the 2.0. Uh, it's just a basic DLL injector. It's got a couple uh, cool things like a drag and drop DLL. All you have to do is drag the DLL there and uh, you can it'll recognize it instead of uh, having to search through all your files and go and find it but you still can do that if you want to using that button right there um, you have automatic injection manual injection and close after injection the basics process um, and then you have a couple features that tells you uh, the name of it the directory of the DLL and the creation date of the DLL um, so it's it's just a pretty straightforward uh, injector and I'm going to be updating it to add multi-threaded you know injection and all that I just wanted to rewrite the code in C sharp and get it out there before I start making those kind of updates to it. Uh, before I continue, I need to make a shout out to the undead uh, for the DLL imports uh, portion of the DLL injection code uh, because I was trying to do that myself and it was just it was super pain in the ass and uh, I went and uh, took a couple snippets of his code, so big thanks to him for the uh, uh, bits that I did take from uh, his code, and uh, thanks for sharing it. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. So what you do is you just drag the DLL there, recognizes the DLL, it gives you all the information about it, and then uh, you just type in the process, which is, I think they changed Slender, or it might just be Slender.exe, let's check. I'm going to open up our Slender here. Um, I think they might have changed Slender's process name. Oh, I didn't set it to automatic injection. That might be why. So let's try it. Now let's see. That error will pop up. Um, I Like I said, I don't have everything completely... Uh, set up and running perfectly, but there we'll just close the program. So I need to find Slender's name real quick. Okay, I've got it now. It's Slender the Eight Pages. Exe. It's been a while since I've opened this game, so uh, we're just gonna leave it a manual injection, um, and then drag our DLL in, and uh, we'll inject it here. And then you see that the X goes to a check. That means it successfully injected the hack. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I probably will be doing a tutorial on C Sharp injection. Um, if you guys want it, if no one wants it, then I'm not going to do it because why waste my time if no one wants it, <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the continual support. And uh, I'll see you later. Oh, also, um, real quick, I'm working on a game, and uh, it's it's coming along. It's like it's coming at a pretty slow pace, but uh, I'm getting it done. Uh, I need a graph graphics designer because <laughs> I suck at art. So, uh, if anyone knows or is a graphics designer and would like to help me out with this game, hit me up, and uh, we can. Uh, work on this game together and I get this done and I should have a early 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 alpha stages of this game out uh, here in the next I don't know month or so uh, depends how much time I get it and if someone hits me up with the uh, graphics so yeah thanks again for watching guys uh, see you later